We'll be playing two duets by George Friedrich Fuchs. And George Friedrich Fuchs was born in Mainz on December 3rd, 1732. Very early in his life, he learned to play clarinet, the horn, and the bassoon. His compositions teachers included Christian Canabich and possibly Franz Joseph Haydn. His string trio, Opus 45, he dedicated to Franz Joseph Haydn. He started off in the military band, and in 1794, he moved to Paris and became known as a first-class musician in an orchestra there, and he became solfege professor at the conservatory in 1795, but lost that position due to reform of the teaching staff there in 1800. He earned his living after that, arranging popular pieces for various instruments for local music publishers. He also taught and wrote a lot of chamber music, some for unusual combinations, like these duos he did in Paris for clarinet and violin in December 1821. Thank <laughs> you. 
this Paris Atre for viola, violoncello, and bass by Michael Kirsten was published for the first time in 1984 when the manuscript from our musical collection at a library in Europe. This, there's, there's no composer's name on the manuscript, but the work is quoted in the Breitkopf thematic catalog as D. Kirsten. Now, there are two well-known musicians from that time with last name Kirsten. Johann Gottfried Kirsten, an organist at Dresden around 1769, who wrote mainly sacred concertos, and Michael Kirsten, born in Lawson in Silesia in 1682, who died in Breslau on June 28, 1742. He was also an organist in Breslau around 1720, but he wrote lots of instrumental music also, suggesting that of the two, he is more likely to be the composer. This combination of instruments is rather unusual for this time and is a reason why this piece was published in addition to the nice music made with this unusual instrumentation for this time.
Johann Baptist Van Hall was born in Bohemia in 1739 and died in Vienna in 1813. He worked mostly in Vienna and was considered second only to Franz Joseph Haydn. He wrote many compositions and his symphonies and quartets in particular were well known throughout Europe. His, his divertimento for viola, violin, and double bass is one of his remarkable pieces and some of the note patterns in the first minuet and trio show that it was definitely written for double bass. <laughs> Thank you. 
Angela Gregorio Villaldo was born on February 16, 1861, and he died October 14, 1919. He was an, a musician from Argentina and one of the pioneers of the tango. He was born south of the city of Buenos Aires. He was a lyricist, composer, and one of the major singers of the era. This tango I found in an arrangement for two violins and piano, and I used to play the bass line of the piano part on my cello with my violin students when they performed this at a, co at a student concert rather than hiring a pianist. Then a few years ago, since it sounded nice like that, I decided to arrange this piece even further for viola, cello, and bass, and for violin, viola, and bass. I've performed both arrangements. <laughs> Ludwig von Beethoven wrote this serenade for flute, violin, and viola early in his career. Beethoven was born in December 1770, and he died in March of 1827. This serenade was written by Beethoven around 1801, although there are preliminary sketches from as early as 1797, when Beethoven finished his earlier serenade, Opus 8 for String Trio. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.